Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games and talk game design. And we are back with more oxen free. There's Jonas. Just after we broke into this building. Here we go. Oh, that's a cool transition. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Not a chance. Cool. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, I think here's something. Cinematic. It's another pocket radio, I think. Oh. It's like there's way more stuff. Ooh, does it have the high. low one? It says that... Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for wave-assisted lock. Ah, they use um, that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. Ooh. It says that you use them like identification tags. It must work for the gate, too. Uh, okay, cool, great. Oh, wait, look at this. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Huh. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... To whom... Oops. Steal a boat and leave. Nice. Which should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What? What could that mean? I am compelled by both forces outside my control Ooh. and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a forces outside our control. Like like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? I don't know. Inside you'll find two wall equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Wait. <coughs> to whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what... I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself? And then it's oh, <laughs> I've had oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Please do not get glassy eyes over this, okay? You we do not have to dig up some old lady's recycling. We can just go home. Could I help you find out stuff about the island. What was that other radio station that we um we heard about it, it was like 66.2 yeah yeah what was that for do you remember no and i don't remember what area it was in oh man that's gonna kill hold me on, hold on it might be up here it was definitely was it something over there this? i think it was this thing maybe it was for a locked door i don't remember man it's gonna drive me crazy maybe we'll we'll spend a little time like Behind the cam or off camera, poking Switching. around with some of that stuff. So while there's no dialogue, there is one thing that I want to talk about that I found really interesting. Um, when Clarissa was possessed in the last episode, um, and when she seemed to not be possessed anymore, her text and her name was bright red, which I do not think was the case when Clarissa was herself previously. Well, her text has always been red. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, man. I feel like that would have been a really subtle, like, clue. No, she's always been red. <clears throat> but, like, the glow from inside her body is, you know, like, the possession art. They had that with Ren, too. But that's, yeah. that was the same color as the, re the that lamp in that one cabin and everything. Yeah, the same color as some of the, well, I guess not the triangles necessarily, but. Oh, is this how we get back? Oh, I guess so. Yeah, how did you get across there? Because, yeah, remember, we had to push that dumpster to jump across yeah, the so fence. Yeah, how did you go to that side? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so now we need to go to <laughs> Alex, the mansion? Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought what? you said you were going to go swimming anyway. Oh, the man. sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Uh -oh. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. 
Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I... Did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Day's going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer players. No, I mean, I mean, why are you here? Why? Wait, am I supposed to be doing something right now? You gotta get your dad. I gotta get dad nightcrawlers from the shop. Yeah, but we're gonna do that on our way back. Where's, where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You wanna know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you, do you get what's happening now? All right, can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kind of encroaching on my territory there. Yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat for special little lady. It's like, I'm standing right here. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Carissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember we're all on the island, Nona's there... I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. I don't really know what to make of this situation. I know. Also, this is like... <laughs> this spot in particular. It's like not letting me go down. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pathfinding. Eh. Really, then the question is, what is happening on Jonas's side? Yeah, right. Is she just like on the ground, seizing out? Yeah, I feel like we have to get to the end of this scene now because is this when we're gonna watch him die? Go back to the beach. Yeah, I, I, I was trying to figure out if this was like pretending as if the beach was already done it's and then Michael did didn't die, like or. I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... i Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> well, can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds! Think of something to tell me. God, the soccer ball. I like that you're taking the approach so, of like just uh, <laughs> saying Do you things well, like I guess you don't remember that anything, he's right? I guess you didn't say well, he was I'm dead, I but remember. I'm sorry, did I forget something? I'm bad with dates. I don't think you clicked sorry. that. Sorry. Um I'm glad we oh, can all do it? stuff mm -hmm. today. I'm Oops. glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, um, uh, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, <laughs> six? <laughs> Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Glad you got it back, regardless. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. <sighs> okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. Hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. I I know how this goes. I have insider information, let's just call it, okay? Look, just because Janie's parents got a divorce and made poker nights super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to too, all right? And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, 
But I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Oh, God. Do what you want, man. Don't ask me for advice. <laughs> okay. I'm taking that as endorsement, just so you know. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Huh. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <laughs> Indeed. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Ooh. Bucko, you haven't called me that in years. Oh, man. This is gonna mess with my head. I'm kinda glad... Well, maybe they'll show us later what happens in the lake or ocean or whatever it is. The drowning. Alex, are you alright? <sighs> okay. Uh, oh, we're back. Are you, are you back? You've been acting so huh. weird for like the last five minutes. Do, do, do you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but... Jonas, I just saw... <laughs> glad... I'm glad I she... He was normal. just like totally normal during this what? time. Mm -hmm. Where? Here? Is he... Did, did you see him somewhere here? I, I was... It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? That's it? A weird way to end the conversation. Well, that's... We, we should end here um, before we trigger more dialogue. Um... Man, this is weird, Another though. Letter? Ooh. We'll have to pick this up in the next episode. Yeah, definitely. So, maybe this question is another one that's a little, like, way overdue. Um, but I want to ask about the voiceover. And I guess, um, do you think that it's necessary for this game? Um, because obviously it makes it feel really polished. Um, but do you think that this game would be as compelling without it? And and I guess maybe even more so, like, what are they doing with the voiceover that makes it work so well? I guess this is kind of piggybacking off of two episodes ago, I think, when we talked about, like, what they did to make the voiceover so so organic. This one's going to be... A, this one's a little more general in that, like, imagine this game without voiceover, and you were just reading text. Could you make this game work with just text? Um, so maybe it's a two-part question in that... What, what about the voiceover makes it work, and what could you do with just text to make the game still feel really polished? Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, we've, we've talked outside of the recording about how we think the voiceover really makes it. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where that question came from. Yeah. It's hard to talk about it on the episodes, too, because there's always voiceover happening. It's like, I don't want to talk over them. I don't want to talk about the voiceover <laughs> over the voiceover. Yeah. Oh, man. But thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to vote on what you want to see when we're done with Oxenfree. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode. We're going to keep playing this one until it's done. So, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>